In this video, I'm going to show you one of my new favorite route combinations out of the Trips Tied In formation to be able to beat any defense and also to create a high-low concept that I think is really effective specifically for being able to beat zone coverage and being able to beat man coverage in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. If you want to know when we release them, make sure you subscribe. You can turn on the notifications. That way you never miss any of the videos. And also, if you want to learn my entire Trips Tight End offense, you can learn all of my offenses and defenses by joining our Patreon. My Patreon is only $10 to sign up for, and it will immediately get you access to everything, all of our schemes, all of our eBooks, everything for just 10 bucks. Now, if you want to, uh, again, that link is in the description if you want to check it out. Now, the, the concept that I want to go over with you today is kind of something that um, I've been tinkering with out of the trip side in that I really like, and it's out of the play PA counter go. And, and why this is so good is because we're going to take advantage of this cross or to circle, but we're going to use this as kind of a, oh, just kind of a different way to run the play. So why this is so good is because we have other setups out of the two by two set out of trips that is really effective for if they zone drop, right? And so then typically you're gonna get kind of a standard, I'll just show you, like let's say that they're going to run, you know, cover three main. This concept that I'm about to show you is one of my favorite plays to beat um, the double Mabel meta. And the reason why it's so good is because it's actually really simple to run. All we're going to do with this, this is a shallow to the tight end. And basically what it's gonna look like, we're gonna motion triangle to the right. We're gonna put him on a fade route. Now, on the left side, you have a choice. You can leave Evans on his fade. You're gonna drag your tight end. And then you can leave Evans on his fade. You can put him on a smart routed in. You can put him on a smart routed fade stop or you can put him on a curl or a comeback. Any of those will work. And why I like this so much is because if we put him on a comeback route, we're gonna have this nice little high low, whether we're gonna take the tight end or we're gonna take the comeback. Now this comeback route, I will show you, um, the purple zones on the field that I have, they're at 10 yards zone drop, which is typical. Like. Most people are gonna put them at 10. If they really wanna stop the flat, then they'll put them at five or zero. If they put this at 10 yards, what you'll see here is this comeback route is kind of a hard, um, it's not a hard completion. It's just kind of an, an interesting route. And I'll throw it a couple times and you'll see why I like it. It's similar to the out route, but I think it's a little better because it does go a little deeper than the out route did. And the other reason why I like it is because it, what it does that I really like about it is if they're a vertical, um, oh, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. They're, if, they, if they play him man to man, a lot of times they're gonna try to top this route. So it's gonna leave this little back shoulder animation. Now, I don't want you to, I don't want you to make the mistake that I've made in terms of throwing picks. You cannot throw this route late. You have to throw it on the cut. If you throw it late, it's not there. But if you throw this on the cut, it's actually pretty good um, against double Mabel. Now, let me show you something else. Let's say that on this side, they put a purple and a vert hook. Notice that this purple, when we motion triangle, he is gonna suck inside. This is really important. And so because he's gonna suck inside now, what you're gonna see here is this little out route or deep deep comeback it kind of gets a glitchy piece of separation now i don't want to lead you astray and get you in a game and you throw picks so i want you to practice that get used to the timing test this in a game that doesn't matter um you can put him and i'll show you the reason i'm saying that is because i like to come back but you can put him on an out route if they're running more more zone more double mabel i personally haven't gotten a lot of double mabel I've been getting a lot of man. If they're running zone, you see how good the out is. The out is probably the best route that nobody uses for beating the double Mabel because that purple just can't get there, especially if you have a drag coming underneath it. But I wanna show you something else. This is another thing that I've been getting a lot of and I'm really excited to break this down with you. I've been getting a lot of this. They'll go to cover one robber and they'll put this guy on a quarter 
and they will shade inside. I've been getting a ton of this in trips. This is really good for that. Why? Well, because we motion across, the quarter won't match circle. But this comeback route is good because these quarters, when they match, you'll notice something about them. They play top, they topped routes. That's their primary job, is to top routes. And a lot of people will tell you, if you want this quarter to be really good, to shade him um, or to back him off a little bit, to, to get him backed off so that he can, he basically will cut off post routes. He's very good at cutting off post routes. He's not so good at stopping a comeback, and I'll show that right here. You'll see here how he's on top, get him to turn those hips, and then you see there, we're gonna consistently be able to hit the comeback route. There's really not a window that they can guard the comeback route. Why this also is good is because I'll show you again. Here's man to man with two purple zones. Now they can't run a purple or a, a quarter to stop Godwin. And so now you get this nice clean clear out and you get this nice crosser, pass lead down and outside, cut it off. You see, you're gonna have a nice toe tap on the sideline. The other thing that I wanna hit on real quick is why I like the tight end drag concept when you pair it with a comeback route. This is a really good play because the user will typically, it basically at least has to carry the crosser because now the clear out route from triangle is gonna clear everything out. So there's a lot more space to throw the crosser. But this tight end drag is gonna get under purples. Even though the purple will tackle him and he'll only get five yards, like that's an annoying five yards, I have to say. Like as a player that like has tried to really get better on the defensive side of the ball this year, you will give that up. But if you play an offensive player that is willing to consistently take what the defense gives you in regard to that drag, and they just take that over and over again, that adds up and eventually, you see, look at that. I can just throw that and boom, we're gonna truck and get five to seven yards. You're gonna keep your, your offense on schedule as well. Now, another thing I wanna show you real quick from the purples is you're gonna notice that the if we don't have a 10 yard zone drop, because they most people, um, if they wanna run that quarter trick, they can't, um, nobody, you, you, you can't play the quarter trick and zone drop. So you'll see that most people are gonna have this curl flat. Well, you'll notice that this curl flat won't really get back far enough to defend the comeback. And so you see how that can be kind of a, a chess match. Now, something else I do want to point out is let's say that they play Tampa 2 on us. If they play Tampa 2 on us, your comeback's not going to be there. Um, at least in the way that you might traditionally think it's going to be there. If they play cover 2, what you'll see is your comeback will actually get an outside release and as you can see, it can be problematic to try to get him the ball. Now, when he cuts, when he comes back to the ball, so I'll show you like this, if you will. When Mike Evans comes back to the football, a lot of times what can happen is there can be a small window to hit this against cover two. You're just gonna pass lead up yeah, this, it's kind of it's kind of not there. <laughs> um, another route though that I really like is the fade stop, and the reason is because it's a really deep curl. There's not really a zone in the game that's going to guard the fade stop route. Um, it's very consistent. It's going to split a lot of zone. Um, then it, it's it's like a curl, right? So it can beat man too. But what you'll see with this is you'll see that that cloud flat will just kind of leave it. And that can be a late read for this concept as well. Again, I talked about the in route a little bit. I talked about the comeback. I talked a little bit about the out and why you would run a, want to run those in certain situations. So you can use any of those. And if you wanted to use this fade, be my guest to use the fade. The one thing I wanna say about this, uh, if you use the fade, my personal recommendation um, would be to basically flip the concept. And the way you do that is you would post your tight end, you would drag Godwin, and then you would have Miller on the comeback or the curl or something. You don't necessarily need two verticals on e every play. So this is just gonna be an inverse of the same thing. So these two plays together, these shallow cross type of route combos are very effective. 
One last thing that I want to say is if you wanted to put him, let's say you have a skinny post or you're able to put him on a skinny post and then you could do something like this with Godwin. This is a really, really good combo. And the reason this is so good is because the skinny pose, this is more of a man-to-man -man specialty, but it's really good because look how deep those purples are gonna fall back to that post and you see how open Gronkowski is gonna be. This also is going to give you an answer for man to man. You're gonna have a nice skinny post coming over the middle. It's not the best for the double Mabel because of the fact that a 30 yard cloud can handle the crosser and then the underneath zone, there's nothing to kind of pull it back a little bit. But uh, if they're not running that, you know, this can be a really, really good little play here. And uh, you'll see, you know, you kind of hit your crosser over the top of the coverage. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about Trips Tied In or you just want to get better at Madden, you can get all of my guides by uh, joining the Patreon. You get every single ebook when you join. It's only $10 to sign up. And if you want to check that out, that link will be down below. So you can just go down to the description of the video, click on it, it'll take you right over to our Patreon website where you can get all my ebooks for just 10 bucks by becoming a member.